morning guys it is about nine o'clock in the morning I'm getting ready to make my breakfast so i decided today i want to do a what i eat in a day vlog i usually like to do the recipes at night but i think it'll be good to show you what i eat morning lunch and dinner and some of the snacks that i like to eat throughout the day as well so yeah this morning i like to make breakfasts according to my workouts so if i have a harder workout or a longer day i'll make a little heavier breakfast uh, my lighter days i'll probably see a bowl of cereal or something but yeah today i'm gonna make some eggs for breakfast some avocado and some other stuff lunch will be a smoothie um and i'll show you guys what i put in my smoothies and then i have this new recipe that i tried out called chicken turmeric turmeric i'm not sure how to pronounce that <laughs> but chicken turmeric stew and it's really nice uh, it's very healthy and it's yummy so yeah like this video for more recipes and more food videos and more health videos and subscribe to my channel just so you'll be alerted for when i post and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out and yeah so make sure you tune into this video if you are interested about what i eat in a day so i usually start my mornings with two eggs and i usually add a little bit of milk to them I add some salt and pepper just to season it and also some parsley. I'll usually add some spinach and some ham just to give it a little bit more flavor. I never used to be a fan of eggs until recently, but now I'm like loving them and this is really good for protein. So uh, yeah, I usually cut these up, add them in, and start to make them on the skillet. While the eggs are cooking, I will begin to make my turkey bacon. I do this just because it's a lot healthier than regular bacon and depending on what mood I'm in, I'll sometimes just do sausage, but I'll sprinkle some cheese on my eggs and then if I'm really hungry, I'll eat an English muffin, which I am this morning, so I prepare my English muffin and I just eat it as a little breakfast sandwich once it's all finished. So because today is a really heavy training day, I eat a lot in the mornings and less during lunch just so that I don't die of starvation. So I cut up half an avocado to eat on the side. I usually will just eat this with salt. People say it's strange, but I love it so I don't care. But you can put it on the sandwich either too and it tastes really nice. This is pretty much all I'll eat for breakfast unless I'm not really hungry. Then I'll just eat a bowl of cereal or oatmeal. But this is what I'll usually eat for a heavier training day. So I either prepare my lunch the night before training or the day of, and today I'm going to do it the day of. So I start off with cutting up some celery sometimes and a small apple. Honestly, I just put in whatever I'm feeling that day for my fruits. But today I'm going for more of a grain smoothie, so that I believe this smoothie is going to come out a little bit more grain. I'm going to add some more vegetables. So I use my base as apple juice, I add some strawberries. After that, I add a few berries, and then I add the celery and apple that I cut up prior to this. I also added some yogurt before this, Chobani yogurt, which is very high in protein. I usually add a banana, and then I'll do a handful of spinach and some kale just to get some veggies in, and that's about it. Because of the frozen fruits, I usually have a hard time with it blending, so I'll open it up and just mix it around a few times until it blends properly. And there you have it. That is my smoothie for today. And if I'm feeling hungry still, I'll usually add a snack. I might do a Nutri-Grain bar or the Welch's fruit snacks, which are low in sugar. So for dinner we're going to need some chicken breast seasoned, some chicken broth, and then you're going to need some turmeric, and some minced garlic. You're also going to need a small chopped onion. I also use two sweet potatoes and an eggplant, and that's going to be pretty much all you need for the meal. I season the chicken with seasoning salt, throw it in the skillet, have that pre-cook for a while. So you're just going to have that chill there for a bit. While the chicken is cooking, I cut up my sweet potatoes and my onion at this time. And I will cut up the sweet potatoes into little squares just so it cooks quicker. Once I'm done cutting them up, I just add it all to my chicken. Cook that a bit and then you're going to add it with the chicken broth as well. You're 
to let this simmer for about five minutes before you add the eggplant. And while that's cooking, I cut up half of an eggplant, or you can just use a small eggplant, but this one's pretty huge. So I cut that up. Um, you want to do this last just because it cooks really quickly and you don't want them to be super, super soft. So make sure to make this your last step. And you're going to add that to the meal as well. Once you do that, have a chicken broth in it and you add your seasoning. So I add the turmeric. Next, I'll add my minced garlic. Now you're just going to let this meal simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes after you add some salt. And yeah, let it simmer for 30 minutes. And once you are done with that, you are ready to go. You can eat this meal with brown rice, quinoa, or anything else, or by itself. It's good all the way around. So thanks for tuning in to my What I Eat in a Day video. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!